Southeast Australia is one of the most bushfire prone areas in the world, and bushfires are a fact of life in Tasmania. Hot, dry and windy weather creates perfect conditions for fires to rapidly spread out of control. These fires can destroy homes, burn farmland and forests, kill wildlife and livestock, and occasionally kill and injure people. There are two main reasons houses are destroyed by bushfire. First, from burning vegetation and bushfire fuel that's been left too close to homes. Second, from a shower of burning embers falling on flat surfaces and being driven into crevices and open spaces by the wind. Homes with too much vegetation close to them are difficult to protect from fire, but a house that is only subjected to a shower of embers can be defended by able-bodied people. Knowing how homes catch fire will help you decide whether to stay and defend your home or leave, and will also prepare you for the experience if you choose to stay. When a bushfire is burning towards you, particularly on a hot, dry day with strong, gusty winds, it becomes increasingly smoky and hard to see, and breathing becomes uncomfortable. As the fire gets closer, it gets darker, and burning embers will start to land around your home. As the fire closes in, you'll hear the roar of the wind, and flames and embers will rain down. Electrical supplies to the property may be cut water pressure may drop. As the fire arrives, radiant heat from the flames may become unbearable, forcing you inside. This might be one of the most frightening situations you ever encounter. Day turns to night as thick smoke blankets the sky and surrounds you. It's hard to see and breathing may become uncomfortable. Embers will rain down and the roar of the fire is deafening. When the fire has passed and it's safe to go outside, it'll be very smoky and anything burning will give off lots of radiant heat. It's a frightening experience and one that you need to prepare for. 